Prior to 2016, following its first ever appearance in the college football playoff, Michigan State rebranded the south side of Spartan Stadium. And now, after six years, it's getting another facelift. A collection of murals are being installed this week. And as you'll hear, they highlight the program's past while also looking ahead to its future. Michigan State football has been around for 126 years this season, and while it ushered in a new era back in February of 2020 with the hiring of Mel Tucker, the foundation it was built on is still very prevalent. It's why Carter Elwood, who is a Michigan State alum, was very conscientious about the way he designed the two new murals outside of Spartan Stadium. It's inspired by street art and graffiti. So um, that was kind of where I was coming from, but I also, and, you know, we wanted to blend kind of the old style approach of the photo base and all of that and mix it with the new style. The athletic department could not have picked a more perfect artist for the job because back in 2016 to 2019, Elwood was the creative director for the football program when Mark D'Antonio was at the helm. I had been there when the previous signs were installed, when the previous boards were up. And, you know, that's very much, that was very much Coach D'Antonio's approach. It kind of focused um, on the bowl games and all the things that he had accomplished, and that, that was awesome. Now, going with, with Coach Tucker, um, it's it's almost like a, a little bit of a change in style in terms of the two coaches. I mean, they're so, it's so reflective of their two natures. Outside of Tucker and D'Antonio, though, the murals also feature one of the most important elements of the program's history, and that is the Duffy Doherty era. He changed the entire landscape of college football with his recruiting strategy, dubbed as the Underground Railroad. And if you look closely, you'll see it in the mural. I think we were referring to him when we were making it as Easter eggs. Like, um, it started here in 66 was um, one of the points of emphasis that Coach Tucker has made an emphasis on, on kind of highlighting since he's been back. And it was something that Coach D'Antonio also highlighted, but we, we more so focused on internally in the program. And that was that, you know, the integration of the program in the mid 60s is not really discussed enough because, you know, it, back in the back in the day under Duffy Doherty, it was it was very it was very progressive. So little things like that in there or, you know, keep chopping or bound to win those are all different taglines that kind of honor the different phases that Michigan State football has been through. There are so many little details for Spartan fans to take in when they glance up at the murals and all are of significance even Tucker's green eye. I don't want to put way too much <laughs> emphasis on something that's really subtle but I mean it really is like you you can see in him that the, that's kind of where the program resonates from and like it's down to that level of detail where it's like I feel like, you know, if if it was a perfect world, Coach Tuck's eyes would probably go, go green uh, on game day with, with how much energy he brings. Tucker's mom was an artist, and as a result, he was able to offer a perspective Elwood's not quite used to when working with head football coaches. He could give me a kind of a deeper creative feedback and say, hey, let's, let's change this here. Let's tweak this here. I want this. This is kind of imbalanced. So it was honestly much more like working with any of my other day-to-day -day clients who are like fully embedded in creativity than I would have ever thought. One of the pillars of Tucker's program is attention to detail. So it's no surprise that he would be involved in some sort of aspect when it comes to the new murals outside of Spartan Stadium, or as he likes to call it, the woodshed. And when we come back, we're going to sit down with the boss man himself to see how he feels ahead of Saturday's game against Akron.